Hey lady, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl here, Sharonda Simone, and I'm back with another video. So everybody loves a good wash and go, right? You get the volume and you get the definition, but you usually don't get the length until about day three, if you're like me. So today I'm going to be showing you how I was able to get some definition as well as length with my curly hair. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm starting off on hair that is perfectly dry, okay, totally dry. So I have low porosity hair, so if I don't use any heat to dry my hair, it can take anywhere from one to even three days to fully dry, depending on how I have it. So I have it in these large twists, and when I did the twist, I used a lot of my Blue Magic. <laughs> okay, you guys know that I love the Blue Magic hair oil or hair grease it's old school it works for me my mommy used it in my hair my sister's hair so i still use it and i also used a healthy amount of oil and it's the jamaican black castor oil okay so i like to use this combination you can see just how shiny my hair is you know in these twists now my natural hair texture because it is so kinky coily like usually my curls are like corkscrew curls if you have that kind of hair, then, you know, drop a comment because you know what I'm talking about. Like, it is a perfect little corkscrew. So usually my hair does not have any shine to it. It just, you know, naturally the light doesn't reflect. So in order for me to get shine, I am really heavy handed with my hair conditioning oil. That's the Blue Magic, as well as my Jamaican Black Castor Oil. So what I did was when my hair was sopping wet, okay, I went ahead and just put in these large twists. Now, I will say that if you're going to do this, you're going to compromise on, you know, like volume, okay, because of the oils and the hair conditioning grease, then your hair is not going to have as much volume initially. But just like, you know, any other hairstyle, when you have natural hair, you know that it gets bigger and it grows, you know, over time. So like day three is usually my sweet spot, you know what I mean, when it comes to my hairstyles. But still, I'm going to get really good length and I'll also have definition. So you just keep watching and see what I'm doing here. So as you can see, I am just separating my hair very gently. It is sped up, but I am taking my time because I don't want to disrupt the definition that I do have. So what I did, if you were seeing the previous clips, I just unraveled my twists in the opposite direction. So I really made sure that my hair was properly detangled okay so before I put my twist in I made sure that my hair was nice and detangled and then as I am you know like separating my hair out you guys look how much oil that's all oil on my fingernails and by the way my fingernail polish is matte polish and you see how oily my hands were so that's why I don't even have to add any more oil okay um but yes so as I was saying you know as I'm taking out the twist I'm being careful not to disrupt the actual you know like definition so one way to do that you see how my hair is already clumped all i'm doing is going with the natural clump that my hair is already in so it's already decided you know how it wants to come together you know what i'm saying so in order to not create any excessive frizz then i just go in that same you know way if it already you know separated i just take that clump of hair and separate it you know from everything else and as you can see, I'm taking my time and I'm unraveling. So when I was putting the twists in, I made sure to keep the sections very separate and clean. I didn't borrow from one side into the other side. You know, I made sure that everything was nice and separate. And then as I am separating my hair, each little section, I just feel where the hair already wants to split. And that is what I do. That really helps to maintain the definition. Now, my curls are usually much more tight than this. And over the next few days, they will, you know, develop that corkscrew curl. Again, if you know what I'm talking about, then you know. It's like, I think it's considered 4A. I think it is. I don't know. But it's very tight little ringlets. Um, and so, you know, over the next few days, yes, you know, it does kind of go back to its corkscrew especially at the ends but if you watch till the end of this video you'll see how i protect the hairstyle overnight and i still get some nice definition especially at the ends i keep my length 
Um, and you know, I also get volume. You guys, it's like a win-win, you know? It is a win-win. So hopefully you guys, you know, get something from this video. Um, I don't know if you will. Again, I said in my other hair care video that I haven't seen many people with my hair texture, my hair, you know, I wouldn't say problems, but just like my hair situations, things I have to deal with. So I figured that it might be only a few of us who would benefit from these videos. But if anybody can benefit, then I figured I would go ahead and share with you. So let me know if you want for me to continue doing hair care videos and if you have any specific questions you know one of my new subscribers yay um i'll put her name on the screen here i want to say thank you so much for just reaching out and saying that you found my hair video helpful um and she was just so sweet you guys she was like thank you so much because she never sees anyone on youtube who has her hair texture and that's how i felt that i just didn't see anybody with my hair texture so anyway, okay, so now of course we want to hide the partitions, okay? So all I'm doing is I'm taking my wide tooth comb and I'm just chopping my hair. I'm not fluffing my roots. Why? Because if, you know, you know certain hair textures, that can cause it to break at the root. So I, you know, used to try and do what I saw other people do on YouTube and kind of like lift my roots, but I don't do that because it was actually causing damage to my hair. So all I'm doing is taking my wide tooth comb and just chopping my hair again the goal is to get rid of those harsh lines because my hair was uh, in the twist for about maybe two three days okay so you know the lines are very well demarcated but i don't want that so now i'm flipping my hair over and again just taking my wide tooth comb and just chopping just literally chopping really trying not to you know comb through my hair when it's in this state number one i don't want to disrupt the curls number two i don't want to rip my hair out so here it is and this is pretty much like day one you know so we have our length we have some good definition and now it's time to go to bed now if you remember the original video my hair was flipped over to what is that the other side <laughs> and now i flipped it and the reason why i did do the flip was because i find that if i want to get more volume then what i do is actually flip it to the opposite side so this is let me see if i can explain it all right so this is how my hair was in the original clip right and it does have pretty good volume but if i want to give immediate volume you know without having to fluff and all of that then what i do is i just flip my hair to the opposite direction okay so there's like a little tip for you if you want to get immediate volume you can just flip your hair okay so now that i'm getting ready to go to bed i actually want to flip it back to the original side so that i have the option of doing my flip for volume again tomorrow morning so i hope that makes sense okay so now i want to do something that is not going to highlight the partitions anymore so i'm going to make sure that when i separate my hair okay i'm getting ready to go to bed those are my cute pajamas i'll link those down below i think i got those from nasty gal i think so anyway they're it's really cute it's like a three-piece set super duper cute loungewear and bedtime clothes okay so because i don't want the partitions to be perfect right because then we're back at the same problem tomorrow morning with having harsh lines so i just kind of make a really um very you know like very rough partition and then i'm just taking this front part and just twisting it very lightly this is going to help keep my length as well as definition so um what i'm going to do to help hold the hair now is i'm just going to take a large scrunchie and I'm going to secure my hair with it. So I do not want it very tight. I literally just want to keep it in place for the next few hours while I sleep until morning. Okay. And for the back section now, because I don't want to see that um, harsh line in the middle, I don't want that tomorrow morning. Okay. So I'm separating my hair in two parts but instead of like pigtail parts you know side by side i'm doing top and bottom parts instead so anytime i do my hair right before bed like if my hair is out i always try and think about what i want my hair to look like the next morning okay so i'm very intentional with how i you know put my hair away for the night because that's how it's going to set for the next day
but I'm twisting the top part like so very lightly. Now, if you're new to my channel, thank you so very much for clicking on this video. I hope you are finding it helpful. I hope I'm explaining everything well. It probably would have been easier for me just to not talk and then just let you watch. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, if you want me to do any other videos about hair, then just, you know, drop them down in the comment section, you guys. Make sure to mash the like button, okay? Show support, please. I really appreciate it. It helps my channel out so much every time you guys like you know my videos when you comment spam the comment section okay if you have multiple comments like you know comment and then comment again comment again you don't have to put just one comment you know what i mean like we're chatting it's a conversation it's a digital conversation okay and then you see for the bottom part i don't want that middle part okay i don't want the middle part so i kind of did an offset two-part separation okay again just trying to be intentional about how I put my hair away for the night. So now I'm just going to twist this part up again. Thank you guys so very much to all of my subscribers, returning subscribers and supporters, you guys who show up in the comments, who follow me on IG, who like my posts, who like my stories, who like my everything, you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you so very much. The 1K giveaway is coming. It really is coming. I'm just trying to, you know, make sure that I do it right for you guys. So anyway, now I am going to grab my little nightcap. I believe I got this at Walmart in like the men's hair care line, you know, aisle. So now I'm just tying my hair up and I do not like my hair tight at all. So I am very, very light handed when I put on my little headscarf. Okay, so that is it. Boom. And now I'm ready for bed. Really quickly, I do want to show you a shot of my hair at the end of the day that's the next day okay so you know we've got a little bit more volume we still have some decent length and definition and so technically this is day like the end of day two if that makes sense all right guys thank you so very much for watching until next time remember i am sharonda simone and i will either see you at the top or from the top you decide bye